Designing a drip irrigation system requires a detailed plan and accurate preparation. Before a drip system can simply be installed, several factors must be considered for a cost-effective and efficient drip system result. Greg Sakura, zone engineer for the Texas High Plains with USDA NRCS, discusses the key design elements a producer should consider when planning to install a drip irrigation system. The major criteria for the design of a properly designed drip irrigation system, number one, you need to know accurately the amount of water available to that system. The second thing you need to know is the the size and shape and topography of the field that the drip irrigation system is going to be installed on. Another criteria is what crops are going to be grown. Uh, is there going to be a row crop such as corn or cotton, or is it going to be put on alfalfa or a wheat field? Water quantity is an important part of the system design process because the amount of water influences how the drip irrigation system is designed. A producer needs to know their water quantity, usually expressed in gallons per minute or gallons per minute per acre. It's very important for the landowner or the farmer, the producer, to know their water quantity so that the person that's designing their system can design the system properly and match their, their well flow rates. While keeping gallons per minute per acre in mind, knowing the size, shape, and topography of the field is crucial in designing the spacing of the drip laterals and even the depth of the drip irrigation system. This design criteria is essential to ensuring an efficient, well-designed drip irrigation system. After evaluating the water quantity and the field size and shape, producers need to consider which crop they will plant. Since crops use water differently, it's important to keep this in mind when designing a drip system. In addition to water quantity, knowledge of water quality is just as crucial because it determines which type of filter system is best for the drip system. Producers can receive technical and financial assistance from the NRCS to apply for a drip system through the Environmental Quality Incentives Program, or EQIP. If a producer's EQIP application is selected for funding, NRCS will review the drip irrigation design for approval prior to system installation. The producer is receiving technical and financial assistance through USDA and RCS for the installation of a drip irrigation system. It's very important for that producer to bring a system design to USDA and RCS and have that design checked to make sure it will meet USDA and RCS standards and specifications before the system is actually installed in the field. Having a well-designed drip irrigation system can offer many benefits in the long run. A well-designed drip irrigation system offers a very, very high application efficiency. The amount of water that's pumped ends up being the amount of water applied. While application efficiency is a major benefit to drip irrigation, a well-designed system allows crops to be watered uniformly throughout the field and can provide direct application of nutrients to the plant's root zone. Developing the proper plan for a drip system is crucial for ensuring success in using drip irrigation. With the detailed planning and installation process come the benefits of water and nutrient application efficiency. In addition to the design of the system, producers should also account for management and maintenance when considering a drip irrigation system. Learn more about drip irrigation in the continuation of this video series on our YouTube channel.